good morning dear students welcome to this uh, session on uh, pre stressed concrete the last session we have started uh, talking about unit 2 uh, analysis of pre stress so we have talked about the assumptions in the last session and also uh, regarding the concentric pre stressing uh, case and the notations different notations i'll just uh, uh, rush uh, quickly go through uh, capital p pre stressing force and uh, small e eccentricity of pre stressing force capital m being the moment created by pre stressing force and the cross sectional area the moment of inertia uh, section modulus and uh, stresses final uh, stresses at uh, top and bottom fibers and the distance from cg of the section uh, to the top and bottom fibers and also the radius of gyration a term uh, which is a, a mathematical term which which shall be calculated with a formula square root of i by a okay right uh, coming to the concentric tendons case so if you uh, uh, induce pre stress by a concentric tendon means if you uh, now pull this tendon and uh, anchor it at the ends it is going to create a compressive stress exclusively compressive stress of same value at all places all fibers both top fiber bottom fiber and any fiber any location you take it is going to have very similar stress this is the stress diagram so this is the reference line stress value stress value and just join it so it is p by a both at top i mean Uh, even at bottom same uh, p by a and anywhere you, you see anywhere you take the stress is p by a okay so this is about uh, now uh, when you want uh, uh, an axial member uh, to be pre-stressed uh, where if you are expecting uh, no, only uh, tensile stress exclusively tensile stress uh, then you need a pure peak pre compression so that it is going to take care of the tensile stresses coming out of uh, the service loads so when when you have a tensile force uh, as service load that will be contracted by compressive stress uh, induced by this uh, pre stress value right so this is about concentric tendons now let us talk about eccentric tendons so in general uh, the beams uh, will have because of the loads uh, beams will have compression at top and tension at bottom okay because they are going to bend uh, in this manner where they sag so the top surface will be under compression and uh, bottom surface will be bottom fibers will be under tension and top fibers will be under compression this is a general scenario of uh, uh, the members which are uh, acted upon by lateral loads particularly gravity loads okay maybe the self weight of the beam or live load all these will uh, have this scenario of stresses 
and to balance these values to counteract these values if you are able to induce opposite nature of stresses like this means to counteract compression we need prior tensile stress to counteract tensile stress at bottom we need compression at bottom so the eccentricity of the tendon so if you if you put the tendon at center it is going to create compression both at top and bottom okay but we want uh, tension at top compression at bottom this is what we want in the concrete uh, member because the live load and dead load are going to create top compression bottom tension so to balance these things we need top tension bottom compression okay so to to induce such stresses what you need you need to move the tendon below cg so that what happens the pre stress that you create the the, the pre stressing force that is available in the tendon will try to bend the beam in this manner the concrete beam in this manner which means now it is bottom compression top tension is induced okay so this is what we want right that is why uh, the tendon is uh, provided below cg line okay got it the reason for the tendon uh, will be uh, below cg line so the eccentricity value will be varied according to the, the the value of stress that you want to develop and also the amount of force will depend on uh, how much uh, stress it has to contract okay so this is what purely uh, our our intention is to balance or nullify this tensile stress because concrete is weak in tension that's why though you have compression there is no problem because concrete can handle compression very well so only tensile stresses need to be made zero or convert this tension into compression no problem okay so you must have the the this compressive stress that is developed by pre stressing shall be either equal to or greater than the tensile stress value okay greater than or equal to the tensile stress that will come because of the loads okay so this is what is the main intention prime concern in this eccentric tendons okay so the concentric tendons will 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 work but not effective because they are not going to create the opposite nature of stresses uh, what exactly we want so only eccentric tendons can create the exactly opposite uh, nature of stresses uh, uh, to the stresses that are going to develop uh, because of the loads so this is a pure reason uh, why we go for eccentric tendons okay and that too why the tendon is provided below cg line of the concrete this is cg line of the concrete and you see the eccentricity of the tendon uh, is below the cg line reason we need a uh, bottom compressive stress and top tensile stress to be developed so that they balance the, uh, the the opposite nature of stresses that will come later on 
uh, when you are using the member like uh, dead loads live loads okay so this is uh, why uh, the reason for tendon is below cg line right now let us see the stress values that will develop because of this tendon arrangement okay so this is the cross section and this is sectional elevation so cross section you see that the the duct provision of the duct is here so tendon is inside this duct and the distance between this uh, cg of tendon and cg of uh, concrete uh, cross section is small e that is nothing but eccentricity uh, so this is uh, this is going to create uh, the uh, two types of stresses one is direct and as well as bending stresses okay so what is the reason how do you uh, uh, know uh, get the stresses uh, because of this uh, eccentric load uh, on this member so it's very simple technique uh, just uh, transmit the load to the center so for load transmission it's very simple concept from mechanics so just apply uh, equal and opposite forces at the location where you want to transmit the force so i want to transmit this force to the center so what i need is i need two equal and opposite forces so i am uh, not changing anything so p minus p is zero so i have added an equilibrium system to a force so we are changing nothing right now what we want is this one okay and the remaining uh, two forces like this force and this force are equal and opposite and they are separated by a distance called e okay so they are nothing but a couple so what nature of it is it is like anti clockwise so i can replace those two arrows by an anti clockwise couple value p into e okay so a force at a location say a has become a force and a moment at location b so this is you have learned in engineering mechanics uh, a force uh, now transmitted from one location to the other location so what happens so if you if you move a force from a to b the force becomes force and a couple force and moment system okay so now you have axial force p and moment p into e the same uh, is also applicable at this end also so p and moment this end it will be clockwise p into e okay so now you have a compressive force and also a moment like this okay a moment like this hugging so the member is going to bend upwards so now if you calculate the stresses so what you have if you see separately separate the two loads you have axial load and you have a moment also right here so you have a moment like this p into e and you have axial load so these are the stresses due to axial load and these are stresses due to bending pure bending just bending moment so m by z this is m value sigma is equal to m by z okay pure bending right so these are axial stresses and these are bending stresses okay that's called direct stresses and bending stresses right this is compression and this is going to create top tension 
bottom compression. So that's why it is plus at bottom, minus at top. So we are writing compression as positive and uh, tension as negative. Now, if you can find the resultant value, total value, so top P by A plus plus value minus PE by ZT, that is the total stress at top. Okay, so there is reduction in this value. Say if this is some 100 megapascal, if this is some uh, 50 megapascal, so 100 minus 50 is going just 50, value 50. And if you see bottom P by A plus, both are plus. So P by A plus P E by Z B, okay, right? So direct stress plus bending stress, both are compression. So value 100 plus 50, total 150. That's why it is trapezoid, final stress diagram. So axial, uh, I mean direct stress uh, diagram is a rectangle and bending stress diagram is like uh, two triangles with the uh, inverse symmetry, two triangles with the inverse symmetry, one triangle above CG line, one triangle below CG line. And the final stress diagram is trapezoid. Okay, so uh, top surface you have some compression, bottom you have uh, compressive stress with higher amount. You can see this is just in our numbers, it is, it, it is 50, it is 150, three times uh, compression is induced okay this is how uh, we you know, deal with you can control these values by controlling p value and e value okay if you want uh, this to be tensile stress so if you develop 150 mega pascal of bending stress so this will become tensile stress of 50 Okay, so that is what you want, top tension you want. And if you make this 150, this will be 250 of compressive stress 250. So these things you can control, it is in your hands by controlling this pre stress uh, value and also eccentricity value. Sometimes eccentricity cannot be controlled because the member size, if, if you have a member size, eccentricity cannot be beyond this uh, you know, cover. So if the cover is some 50 mm or so, you can't go uh, a certain amount. But pre-stress value, you can increase as much as you want. So likewise, you can control these values according to the stresses that will come onto this uh, section, right? So this is the, the, the way we calculate uh, the stresses due to pre-stressing uh, operations right pre-stress values final pre-stress uh, values uh, only due to pre-stressing force not because of the dead load live load and all it is only due to pre-stress what are the final stresses top p by a minus p e by z nothing but m by z bottom p by a plus p e by z p so uh, you, you have to you know, uh, have clear idea about how the member bends because of pre-stress so that you can easily uh, identify uh, which, which uh, you know, fiber will have tensile stress and which fiber will have compressive stress. Okay, so this how uh, the uh, the eccentric tendons will work uh, for our uh, usage, right? So this is these are the formulas uh, to find you know, stresses due to pre-stress alone, right? Going for the uh, 
uh, stresses uh, developed at uh, top and bottom uh, just reorienting uh, to have uh, the final form of formulas so we have pe by z z can be replaced by i by y and uh, multiply and divide with a so that p by a can be taken common we want p by a to be uh, taken common so p divided by a will be coming out of this equation so it will be p by a p by a into 1 plus what is remaining is e y b y b i said uh, inferior means bottom superior means top s u p top okay so y b divided by this will be written as this this a you can bring it to the denominator i by a so what is square root i by a is a small i where is the radius of variation square root of i by a okay uh, if it is uh, just i by a means you have to have i square small i square okay so this will be the final equation similarly for uh, this top also so top you will have minus sign bottom we will have plus sign right and those equations are given p by a into 1 plus e y b by i square i square means capital i by a and uh, uh, top you will have 1 minus e y t by i square okay so these are final equations to find stresses developed in a member at top and bottom due to uh, pre-stressing with eccentric tendons pre-stressing with eccentric tendons right okay right we'll, we'll discuss the rest of the things in the next session